Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Coffee and Cannoli. Today we have a special guest making his Coffee and Cannoli debut. I know him as Drew, you guys know him as Nikki, but everyone knows him as a creator of Roblox Games. What's up guys? What's up everybody? <laughs> I know him as Sticky. I'm happy to be here. I'm inside the Coffee and Cannoli. Let's go, baby. That's He's it. one half of the Sticky Bandits. It's the Sticky Bandits. <laughs> To his, on the other uh, side of Nikki, we have Campo Reviews. Campo, say hello. Hi. <laughs> and the gamer pothead, putty man himself, we, he's over to my side over here. Where? Over here? Over exactly. Here? I want to sit, which, which way? <laughs> 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 any, any which way but loose. <laughs> nice. Uh, what's up? <laughs> right turn, Clyde. Um, on this episode, we are featuring the best-selling console of all time, Arguably, everybody's favorite console, the PS2. We're going to be going down our list of our favorite games, some honorable mentions, and some fun PS2 talk on this one as well. So, Nikki, since you're making your debut today, I'll have you go with your number five first. All right. My number five, my, my, it was hard to make this list. I just want to say that straight <laughs> yeah, away. Yeah. There's so many PS2. Except for like, number one. Like, like Johnny Donut said, it was my favorite console of all time. You know, it's, Pretty much anyone's favorite console if you played it. So many good games. But my number five is WWE SmackDown Just Bring It. That, in my opinion, that was one that was my favorite wrestling game of all time. I'm a huge uh, fan of The Rock. And that was just an amazing game. The Hell in the Cell matches, all of them were just so good. So that is my number five. It was the one game that didn't bog down when you had more characters in the ring. <laughs> It's the first game you could ever have eight people in the ring, right? Yeah, yep. it was. Yeah, that was the one. That was the one. Campo, number well, five. First of all, I'd like to just say he tried to make it seem like making this list was so hard, but he ended up finding so many games. And uh, SmackDown, just bring it, is not on my list, but it's come up like multiple, multiple times, times along the history of this. For and I mentioned me and you playing it, and now everyone knows it's true. That was not a lie. <laughs> um, so my number five is Caps in typical Caps fashion, and I have Jet Li Rise to Honor and Blade 2. Ooh, Jet Li Rise to That's a I deep cut. I forgot about cut. Blade 2, yeah. That's a deep cut. Cutty Man. A, to be sorry. honest, it wasn't that good of a game, but go on, sorry. <laughs> yes, it was. No, <laughs> but um, these, that's a so, matter of opinion, right? Everybody's yeah. entitled to their own. Opinions, what is it? They say opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I have Putty. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Uh, if you had me, your ass would smell good right now. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but anyway, my my list, my list are all capped except one. Sorry, but they're just based on the series. So um, uh, for nine number five, I have Final Fantasy X and X2. Okay. That's, that's a good one. That's very good. Um, mine, again, number five is my only caps on the list. And these two games go hand in hand. It's uh, Shadow of the Colossus and Ico. That's in my honorable mentions. I put them together too. My God, I was hoping yeah. someone say that. Uh, they were just visually stunning games. They weren't yes. like, story-wise, it wasn't that deep. But just, I don't know, something about it was just so calming with those games. Well, especially with Ico is when you had to uh, drag her around and try to uh, protect her from all the, the souls or the, the creatures mm -hmm. that were coming from the ground. The demons like, or whatever. Yeah, the demons. Yeah, like, the, the, the aesthetically were so pleasing and soothing. Like, what made that one great was just running around the castles. But then, like, uh, when it came to Shadow of the Colossus, just, just uh, being on the horse and running around was amazing. So, yeah, I know what yeah. you guys are talking about, too. The guy in the, the woods. The guy in the woods. The porn <laughs> okay. in the woods. <laughs> um all right guys so my number four is um this is going to surprise you guys probably the godfather that game was amazing the godfather game was like grand theft auto mechanics but like so much more i enjoyed it so much um it was an amazing game it, it did stuff that i've never seen before in video games and uh and yeah that's my number four um okay like i kind of want to call an audible now and add that to yeah. my list but because yeah that game i forgot was about that game oh so good i think i played that on the 360 though yeah it was uh, on 360 uh, yeah oh yeah okay, so good, good. we're gonna get there okay good i can <laughs> save that actually um so my number four is tony hawk underground good choice solid choice my number four okay well then fine john it's tony hawk underground <laughs> I mean, it's it's a I good put, choice. Yeah, yeah, that's what I put on mine too. That's funny. All right, that's my number four, Tony Hawk Underground. My number four is God of War. Okay. 
Okay. I'm like, going yeah. to... God of War. The first God of, great the game. First God of War. Yeah. Great game. Great game. Okay. Uh, my number three is Bully. You know, one of the best Rockstar games of all time. Anybody well, who's played it will agree. That's uh, out of my three, mentions. Bullies. All right. Uh, my next game is Darkness that comes from the side of the light of the Colosseum. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, mm-hmm. Like, it's maybe up until this point, the greatest looking game that was ever made. Yeah, I heard it held up really good. But it's been remade for every PlayStation since. Yeah, I've I've actually had every single one of them, too. I've never played the new one, but I heard it's fantastic. Oh, it is. is Wait, is it a new one or is it a remastered? I thought the one that's a remastered. remastered. It's a remastered. Okay, okay. When you said new one, I was like, wait. But there is another game that came out that's very similar where it's a guy that has a pet, like, giant dog and you ride on him. Last Guardian. The Last Guardian. Guardian. Yeah, I haven't yeah. got to play it yet. Please don't spoil. But I actually have it. But I just I haven't got to play it. And I, I, I didn't we get it for on. free? Yeah, we got it for free. And I want to play it so badly, but it's just time. You know me. I want to play get that. To play like yeah. So I have it on my account, John. I'm pretty sure. Okay, um, is it on me? Yep. Yes. Okay. Number three. So for number three, um, I just had to cap it. God of War one and two. Respectable. Yeah, because yeah, there's things in two I love that. Number one one's definitely two. better, but okay. I got. Yeah, I agree. It I agree. is number one is yeah. the better game. Um, my number three is anybody who knows me knows I love my JRPGs. And number three for me is Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King. That's a great pick. Well, that like the fact that you got that whole name there. It's uh, Akira Torizawa, uh, Torizawa, Akira Toriyama artwork. And it looks, it looks like an episode of Dragon Ball. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, um, I'm going to go on to my number two. My number two, I am pulling a caps or whatever you guys call it. I capped it. I'm going to go with um, some of my favorite, some, one of my favorite franchises of all time, Tony Hawk, Pro Skater 3 and 4. Both of these came out on PlayStation 2. I would have went with Undergrounds, but in my opinion, um, th- these ones just deserved it over Underground. You know, they, they really, like, Tony Hawk 1, 2, 3, and 4 were all amazing games. They were all great. And um, another reason why I wanted to put them on my list um, is because they are actually, they got leaked in an interview that they are remastering three and four now. Uh, so in we, a combo oh. pack? In a combo pack. So we had oh, one man. and two. We had one and two in 2020. And now apparently yeah. we're going to have three and four in 2021 remastered. Oh. Yeah, I was actually going to bundle everything, but I was like, you can't bundle all of them. You can't. Oh, no, you, you wouldn't. Yeah. Listen, yeah, I'm going to be yeah, honest so with you. So you're telling me that I'm going to have a chance to get underground one and two in a bundle pack. Eventually, yeah. Really that, that's. So what they're, what they're, I don't want to sidetrack. I will just say this for after. Yeah. Actually. Let's keep it going. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Either way. Uh, Campo. My number two, uh, Devil May Cry and Bully. Caps. Caps. Buddy, man. Oh, okay. My number three is the uh, Grand Theft Auto Trilogy. Oh, number two. Sorry. Yeah. Number two is the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy. It's wrong. Fair enough. Or or this uh, Vice City and I'll say Vice City and three. No, you can you just do it. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. No, sorry. We gotta pause the video. Say that again, please. Grand Theft Auto. What? Vice City and uh, three. So you're saying San Andreas would not be on there? It's because it's on another list. I'm so confused. Go just on, keep the on. trilogy. You're just making keep, it. Yeah, just yeah. keep the trilogy, buddy. Uh, Don't worry. We're all good. Um, my number two, I'm sticking with the JRPGs. It's Final Fantasy X. Good choice. Good choice. Um, my number one, again, getting remastered. It's got leaked that it's going to be remastered in 2022. The Grand Theft Auto trilogy is coming back fully remastered in 2022. 100% confirmed. You heard it here first. Uh my number one is this was really hard. Uh, nobody's probably heard of this, um, but it's what I played the most. It's the Grand Theft Auto trilogy. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised. Mm. Well, I guess I get to be the one that surprised everyone because, of course, yeah. you already heard that I put uh, at number two. But number one for me is Silent Hill two and three. Don't know how. That's but- Okay. I played because that's wrong. Days. Because uh, my number one is also the Grand Theft Auto trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, like, okay. not enough good things can be said about that trilogy. No, no, I'm yeah. not. I'm not saying anything bad. About, you know, I'm not saying anything bad about GTA. But my my deep root is love for. Well, let also. me throw some knocks here. Sure. Silent Hill came out also on PlayStation. Yes. So it's one, yeah. it, it and it, that's my my also my knock to my brother is. Tony Hawk three and four also came out on PlayStation. That's where I played PS one. Yeah, yeah. yeah they no, did. no, no, no. Well, Tony Hawk three did for sure because I no, had it, it on PlayStation. 
You can look it up. There's, it's definitely existed. Yeah, I have Tony Hawk three on the PS one, but there was also a PS two version. I yeah, also no, have the N sixty four version. Yeah. See, but that's what I mean. So to me, I, I to me the next gen of games was the underground, um, and I was not. I didn't really like Tony Hawk four Pro Skater four. I loved. Four, it. I loved three. Three was amazing. Three is really three good. Two. Three is really two and good. three was probably the best. But I didn't. I don't think of three as a PlayStation two game. And for well, see, me, I thought it was PlayStation right? one. I thought it was just well. It's the same thing. How you have Xbox and you have San yeah, Andreas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, exactly, but yeah. the thing is, too, it's like the Tony Hawk. Like as they were progressing, they've added new mechanics to the game. Like well, Underground completely changed everything too, right? They added a story to Underground. Right. So yeah. that that's what made it different. But like they added the they added the ability to manual in tony hawks 3 yeah, yeah well yeah yeah well, you couldn't definitely... manual in tony hawk 2 no no you, i don't I remember think, that i don't know i think, no, I think three that. i think you could manual tony hawk 2 i don't think you, you, you could do tricks i don't think you could uh, do tricks in manual remember i think yeah, you could just tony, do manual. i'm pretty sure tony hawk 2 you could you could right manual. but you couldn't do manual tricks i think you could or... combo you could yeah, that's combo. what i was saying yeah combo yeah yeah because now the revert manual yeah lip trick yeah that's what i was thinking of the biggest easiest combo builder there is right but the reason why I just want to make this clear because we're on Tony Hawks. The reason why I put three and four was because I just wanted to like make it. It's cool that they're both going to get remastered. Yeah, no, so, I, I yeah, and it's no. not a bad choice for me. No, I would have just put. I would have no, just no, put no, three. No. I would have just put three. Um, In my like, opinion, I, Tony Hawks three is better than Underground. I remember so. spending so much more time playing Underground than. I I know I agree I probably did but Tony Hawk three was better and I get it that it came out on PlayStation one but what was the PS three one that we had when it first came out? Uh, we had uh, Project Eight I think yeah it was. Project no, Eight was bad Project Project American was Wasteland game. no it wasn't no. American Wasteland no it was either Project Eight or Proven Grounds it might yeah. have been Proven Grounds, Proven Grounds no yeah. that was PS four for sure that was later it's Project so, no they Proven put on both there was no PS four Tony Hawk. Yeah, well, there right. was. It was that really shitty. Yeah, Tony it, was, Hawk it, was, 5. it was called Amer- Tony Hawk Five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and there was the one with the balance board too that came out. That was uh, Tony Hawk Grind, I think it was. Yeah, some GRND. Yeah, P- PS3. We had Project Eight, and we had Proven Grounds. Yeah, Proven Grounds PS3. was like that darker, grittier one that tried to be like skate. Yeah, that's when they started. Yeah, that's really that's, trying that's to be like what skate. we played a lot on. Yeah. And their American Wasteland was on PS3 too, right? Yeah, that um, was a very cartoony uh, one. No, yeah. American Wasteland is a jackass video game. Let's put it that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Actually, no. The to- I remember Tony Hawk's American Wasteland was, we discussed this in, in our Xbox video. It was one of those cross-generational games. They all came out for the system at the same time. So there was the two, the three, the Xbox, and the Xbox 360 version all came out at the same time. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, let's let's talk about this, okay? So, why does nobody have uh, Jet Li Rise to Honor or Blade Two? <laughs> because I honestly never played them. Uh, yeah, well, I, never played the I, game either. I played Blade Two. I did play Blade Two so much that, like, you can till his day. You can get shake and bake, Alexander. You can ask him. Like, every time you killed something, it was ooh, so exciting, and he would just <laughs> he he it, like. He it was just quotes from the movie for the whole thing, and I mean, I did also at their house, so I, I didn't really put this on my honorable mentions. But between Blade Two and playing the Matrix, uh, the one where you're the girl, that was so bad though. I, Enter I the like Matrix. The one. Enter the Matrix. I mean, it. You're saying it's bad now when you look back at it. At the time, that was the coolest game it ever was. because it was the Matrix. Yeah. I guess, yeah, I guess that so, yeah. game should get a remake with the new movie coming out. Yeah. And I just remember. Jet Li at that time, you had Cradle to the Grave, uh, Romeo Must Die, all these movies. That's when yep. he flooded. That's when he first came to North America to do Hollywood movies. And the game came out and it was the coolest thing. My friends were like, oh, you're going to get that Jet Li game? Because it was like liking a rap song, getting that mm-hmm. game. And yeah, it, was really popular. Just, it, it had such good graphics. It had such good cinematics in, in between. And like the storyline was really strong. And it reminded me of my favorite PlayStation game of all time. Jackie Chan. Jack Chan Stuntmaster. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Jackie Chan yeah. on PS1 really like uh, did something special. So that game was like, it was kind of like a uh, similar style game, right? Yeah, where you you it was like it was just more open. Yeah, but like well, if you ever get a chance, go on go on YouTube and watch like a playthrough of Jackie Chan Stuntmaster. It's uh, still really holds up, like surprisingly. Wow. Yeah, I'm, gonna really fun, I'm gonna load it up on my Raspberry Pi. Nice. <laughs> now, see um, the thing I'm, is, oh sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was just I was just gonna say that um I didn't have no idea about the Jet Li game, but I will say because of like Blade Two and even a lot of other ones, there were a lot of like movie based games that came on the PlayStation Two. So. I that's probably why for me I missed the Jet Li thing because of the saturation. You know what I mean? There was yeah. just a lot well, of like martial PlayStation arts. PlayStation One as well. 
yeah, yeah. Well, it was one and two that did a lot of that. I feel like the three and Xbox 360 is when they kind of started being getting away from using movie properties and games in that way. You know what I mean? But two and uh, PS1 and PS2 heavily on that. You know what I mean? So, you know yeah. what's a, a game we uh, we missed on Xbox? Just you know, if we yeah. get there, uh, there was a Terminator. I think it was called Rise of the Machines or something. <laughs> And yes. that was a pretty good game. Uh, okay, shut up. But you know, uh, I want to. I want to bring up some of my honorable mentions here. I had yeah, the Warriors, the Rockstar game, the Warriors on my mm-hmm. honorable mentions. <laughs> I had uh, Need for Speed Underground on my honorable mentions. I got one and or two, I, yeah. And I had uh, NBA Street uh, Volume so Two. I absolutely yes. didn't. I didn't even add Warriors because I knew he was going to say it, so I didn't even bother putting it here. So but I didn't you didn't play it. it. I remember clearly. You didn't. I like play. The game. I beat the Warriors immediately when it came out. I don't think so. It was it was not a hard game to that beat. game was in my room 24-7. You, this is this is my thing. So this is his lifestyle of living. I beat that game and then told him to play it and he didn't want to play it. No, there's no way. Yeah, I bought I was it. watching the movie around I that bought, time, remember? I bought the game. Such a good I bought the too. movie. I, I will say this another game that I uh wanted to put on Arbor Legends, but I think I forgot was FIFA Street. FIFA Street was a great game. Yeah, I have yeah. both street games there. Uh, I put all the street games. So. Yeah, the, that the was NBA, on my Xbox. Yeah. Uh, that was that was, I think, the the uh the predecessor to the NBA Jam series was the NBA Street series. It, was, it played mm-hmm. very similar with that three on three type of thing. Yeah. And I, I spent a lot of time. There was so much stuff to unlock in that game, too. It was yeah. just hours and hours of playing just to unlock every every costume every uniform every yeah, player they did a really good job yeah now That's they would have charged you 3.99 for each one. <laughs> uh, i'll give you an honorable mention here go for it uh snake eater oh there you go i don't yeah, even know what there's, the there's, metal, there's gear, metal gear solid three yeah oh, metal gear that's yeah. that's the first metal gear game i played really because i went back and played the other ones on playstation mm-hmm. after Whereas my first one was actually my first one was Metal Gear on the Nintendo Entertainment. <laughs> I played the original. I'm that old, but uh, here I'll throw, uh, I'll throw some out there too. Um, I have uh, Twisted Metal Black on there. Yeah, that's a good one. We don't have enough car combat games anymore. No. That is the there best was... car combat game. Just oh, so on, your, one... on the PS One list, I think I wait, whose channel, Johnny? You posted that Johnny Donuts. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I gotta go watch it. I don't even think I watched that one yet because I want to know if you guys put Twisted Metal on it, but don't tell me. I'll watch. I'm guessing you guys did. <laughs> Another one I just thought about that you said that, and it was one of those underground <clears throat> ones no one knew about, and I didn't even put it on this list until you said Twisted Metal Black, and that's Vigilante 8. I don't know if anybody ever played it, but it was just like a Twisted Metal, and it was one of those ones that was made by a different company, so it didn't get on the radar, and mm-hmm. they ended up making another game just like it, but it was a Star Wars version, and I don't remember what it was. Um, but, uh, but, uh, but yeah, a Vigilante 8, if you can, look up the, look it up. It's a lot like Twisted Metal, and it was really good. So No, I never heard of that. Yeah. Vigilante, I remember Vigilante 8. I All totally right. remember that. Uh, I got Gran Turismo 4. Mm-hmm. Um, this is the point when I after this game I hopped off Grand Grand Turismo. That this is the last one I played. I didn't. I don't like any Grand Turismo made after that. Um, but I mean, this is probably the best one. It's the most refined. It, it took everything that two and three did really well, and it just like streamlined. Wait, it. I'm confused. Play, okay, Grand Grand Turismo one came out on PS one and two and came out two, on PS one and two, yeah. and then PS three uh, part three came out on PS two and PS one. I think they came out on both. I think it was both, yeah. Yeah, because they were talking about the graphics and doing a big comparison about how PS2 to PS1 graphics yeah. are so good. To use I don't remember Grand which Turismo. one we played on PS2, but whichever it was one was four. On, that was the best it's, one. Is it one four one Ace? Was. Isn't the one called A Spec or something like that? Isn't that Grand Turismo four? Like that's Grand Turismo two A Spec. Two or three. It's two yeah. or three. Is yeah. I think that's I mean. the one that I'm talking about that I like. The no, most. we never had Grand Turismo three. And then I remember I got a uh, uh, PSP. There was a way to like hack it or whatever to get like a bunch of old games on it. And I had an old Gran Turismo on my PSP, and that one was really fun too. I had drifting and stuff. Well, yeah, all my honorable yeah. mentions. I also had Silent Hill, which putty, yeah, I, I can't delete them off this one because Silent Hill, Silent Hill Two was yeah that introduced us to uh, to the py- Pyramid Head. Right, everybody knows yeah. who Pyramid Head. Well, is. he was in, he was in Silent Hill One. Yeah, 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 was he? He, he, yeah, he was. Yeah, Pyramid Head was uh, in Silent Hill One. The uh, nurses were. Under, yeah, uh, the nurses. I'm pretty sure was. In, uh, the, I think. Were, the, I think you're getting it confused. I think the nurses were in Silent Hill one, and Pyramid Head was two. I remember Pyramid two had being in two. Pyramid two had. Yes. I could be wrong. I Maybe to... I'm wrong. I, I, yeah. I might be wrong. I don't. Know. Regardless, it has Hill no diff- makes no difference to me. Um, Resident Evil four. 
Yep. Code Veronica. Code Veronica. Well, I had that on my on Dreamcast, Dreamcast list. On the Dreamcast yeah. list. No, yeah, we had it on here. PS2, you banana. Yeah, but I played it on Dreamcast at Reese's house. That's like when I first played it. That's why we bought Reese, it on there's PlayStation. There's a name I haven't heard in forever. Yeah, I remember Crazy Taxi at Reese's house. Yeah, that's that what I'm best. saying. That was on my list for that. Um, I, I wanted to I wanted to put Half Life on my list so bad, but I was like, I'm gonna save it. I think eventually we'll do a PC. Uh, like, like you guys name most of mine: God of War, Final Fantasy X. Yeah. Um, oh, I still have more. I'm just waiting to see if you guys not you not uh, Sly Cooper list. two is uh, yes. Oh, okay, Sly, there the we Sly go. Sly Cooper there. series. Okay, PS two for platformers. You got the Sly Cooper series. You Jack have the and Jack and Daxter and the Ratchet, Ratchet, Ratchet and Clank. Series. Okay, yeah. that's stuff too. Some of the most there. fun platformers that were out there. Yeah. Like, it's were, it's and you really guys just funny. Four, right? Yeah, because yeah. they went. Play, PlayStation was like, "This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna push um, exclusives. We're gonna no, we're gonna push Crash Bandicoot and Spiral yeah. hard on you. Then in this, then the next generation of PlayStation, they were like, forget those two idiots. It's all about Sly Cooper, Ratchet and Clank. And it was Jack the and dual Daxter. thing. It was a big yeah. dual thing where they had to have duos. Where yeah, like, well, Sly like... Cooper, we he rented it on PS4 when you when there used to be the streaming service for the games, and he rented the the package and we played it. And it yeah. was like uh, like going back to it. They were really good games. They hold up too, like th- yeah. because of the cell shading. The, the remaster the... is really good. Yeah. If anyone they they hold up. Uh, I'd, I'd be amiss was... if we didn't mention Spider Man Two. Yep. Yeah, Spider Man Two. That's a really. I don't good remember game. that game. I seen it on when I was looking up uh, PlayStation Two games. I seen Spider Man Two, and I don't remember it. Like I don't. We rented it. Like we had times we never it. had it. We rented it. We never it had it. It was very loosely based off the movie. Yeah, yeah. Yep. and it had uh, what's his name from um um. Doing the voice, um, not the voice of Spider Man, but uh, uh, um, the narrator, um, oh, uh, Bruce Campbell, uh, yeah, Bruce Campbell. Thank you, I couldn't think of his name. Um, but that's the reason why I love hearing Bruce Campbell talk about like, here's your neighborhood. Sp-. It was a really good game, it was really fun, yeah. So. And that was like, I and what people everybody always says it's that was the best swing mechanic oh. until <clears throat> the that is the definition of the swing mechanic. And the open worldness of it. It's a really mm-hmm. good game. It was pretty close to making my list. Well, How about again, the Godfather? Like said, Putty, are you, they, these guys mentioned the Godfather that it was on, like they 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 loved it. How about you? Did you play the Godfather game? I never got to play it. No, I never. It's got a to great play game, but like it, it, like I'm saying, it came out on a split time. It was for the old generation and the new generation, and I bought it on 360. Yeah. yeah. See, I, again, see again. Like I said, there was because the thing is, I got a bunch of my lists that no one's mentioned yet. And a few of them, like, uh, uh, are ones that are kind of like the underground. Like, we, I have we three. Have a three? Okay, I, like, for example, no one mentioned Okami. And I don't know if anybody played Okami, but Okami was a visually amazing game. It was in the same realm uh, as far as visually stunning as uh, Shadow of the Colossus and Ico, even though it didn't have the same visual. Mm-hmm. It just had that whole, like, um, the, the paint style, the whole thing. Like, I remember a lot of people played it on the uh, Nintendo, I think it was, or one of the co- Nintendo consoles. I got it on the PS2. And loved it. And it was one of those games that I felt like was underappreciated. Well, it was very popular. But again, a lot of people that didn't, that didn't, weren't, were playing like fighter games, shooter games, things of that nature, had no idea it even existed. So I had to throw yeah, it out. I never, I never went for it. I, I played oh, it when they game. launched, when they released the HD remake on the PS4. Yeah. That's when I, I played it and I first got introduced to it because when I, when it first came out, it wasn't something that I felt like I wanted to play. But when you played it, you realize why, why yeah. it's such a great game. Like it's one of those things that's when if you when you look at it, you're like, this looks boring. Like it looks stupid. It doesn't. It's just more of an artistic thing. But then yeah. when you actually get your hands on it, you're like, wow, this is an innovative. It's kind of like a beautiful Joe. Yeah, another one. You know Joe's what I mean? Really good. Beautiful Joe's Joe is a- underrated. Yeah, yes, exactly. completely. I want them to remake it. Please remake the. Beautiful Please Joe. remake Glover. Oh, Glover. Yes. <laughs> Flax. <laughs> And, and yeah. by the way, we mentioned an Xbox Psychonauts. I actually played it on PS2, so I had to wait to mention that. So that's yeah, nice. I deleted that off my list because I put it on the Xbox one. But uh, I mean, a good game. He keeps saying Godfather. I don't know if anybody mm-hmm. played this. This was introduced to me by Bargo. Was Scarface? Scarface is such the a world bad is, game. Yeah, no, such a world it, is yours. It, it, it was a really fun game for what it was, and you could swim in the ocean and get eaten by sharks. What yeah. other game had that? That, but that came out at way after Godfather. It, right? it was like a really lower tier, but way more polished version of GTA. Like it was near the end of the lifespan, so the graphics yeah. were like as as far as they could push them. Like it was very smooth looking for a PS2 game. Yeah, for me that that felt more like a um, what was that game? Um, 
Saints Row type of like type of yeah, game. It was like yeah, so yeah. wild and like flashy and yeah, but that yeah. that's like it, that's what came with that territory, right? GTA yeah. opened the door for these crazy ass games. Yeah, that's why I like the Godfather because the Godfather um, to me was so well made. Like, tell me if I don't know if it was on this generation. Was mm-hmm. Mafia on PS2? Yeah, Mafia uh, One, the original Mafia, Mafia, Mafia One and Two. I I think Mafia One was a PC exclusive, but Mafia Two was on was the on, PlayStation. Yeah. yeah, that's a that was a good game. Both of those were good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Half the, the third one is, never is made fantastic. it through. It. Yes, the remaster on Xbox 360, I think they did, and then they remastered it again. Again, I played it on PC yeah. recently. Uh, that's around fantastic. 360. It was good. Uh, okay, so I'll just tell you my last three. I have G- Guitar Hero, um, the original. On PS2? Yeah, the yeah. original. And yeah, part, yeah, two. On yeah. part one and two. I, don't, I thought it was PS3. No, that yeah. was part three that we always played was part three. Mm-hmm. Um, so oh, I played Guitar Hero 1. I just didn't realize it was on PS2. SOCOM Navy SEALs 1 and 2, the, both good. Uh, Guilty Gear, yeah, Guilty both, Gear, yeah. I was, I was X two, Guilty Gear X two. Yeah, I was gonna mention my fighting games. But I was waiting till till to wait till uh, to see well, if the next. Yeah, that's what I had here. If yeah. if you're gonna go deep, like we had it on the arcade stuff already. But my favorite game, like it would have made my list. It would have been way up there. Was uh, Street Fighter Third Strike? It's the yes. best fighting game yeah. ever made. Till this day, I still say it's. The, there's nothing better than it. The game mechanics are insane for a game of it, that generation. Yeah, um, that was it. Since we're in the finding your mom, I'll throw this out there. I put Soul Calibur 2 on my other list because of Spawn. I had the Soul Calibur 2 for PlayStation 2 because it had Hachi, but I didn't feel it was a superior one. But they ended up getting exclusive for Soul Calibur 3. So I put that in my own mentions. And what made it great was it was this is the only Soul Calibur that was exclusive to PlayStation 2, and you got to create your own fighters in this game. And that for that time, it was revolutionary that you can play a game like Soul Calibur and make your own fighters. So I spent so much time in there. But again, if it wasn't for some of the other games on the list, it would have actually gotten the list itself too. So see the I version think. of Soul Calibur 2 I had was on the GameCube because it had Link. I see now. See, I had I had that one as well too. I ended up buying all of them, but I ended up playing more with the spawn because yeah. I think I just wanted to like. I, I had the, the I bought the one on Atari that had Pac Man. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, but I've got you know three more. Yep. Yeah, yeah, with all ahead, the homebrews, I'm sure there's one that's on. Oh, I'm sure there is. Atari. Uh, Go ahead, buddy. You said you got some more. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So um, this is one that we always have controversy, but I still love it to this day, and that's Red Dead Revolver. Um, that definitely was a PlayStation 2 game. I played it on computer. Right. Um, so I never played it on PlayStation. And then I thought, I think I might have gotten this confused because I can't remember which console it was, and I think it might have been PS3 and I was wrong. Was Beyond Good and Evil on PlayStation 2? I think it that was. That was on my honorable mention. Was Beyond yeah. Good and, Yeah, that was on the PlayStation it's PS2. 2. It's one of the yeah, highest rated remember. games that came out. I, I'm, I still want, the, I want the, the new game to come out. Like they keep, it's never, it's, it's one of those things just like Doom, Duke Nukem, where I feel like it's going to be just like what happened to Duke Nukem. It's going to end up finally coming out and it's going to be the worst thing ever. We've had so like, little talk I at think, all uh, about Duke Nukem this entire like series of shows. <laughs> I, I feel Duke Nukem is a PC thing. To be yeah, fair, I agree. I agree. Well, we're yeah. gonna go big box like, PC soon. Get ready Duke for that. Duke Nukem, Doom, Quake, all those like those are open sky 3D. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I but, can't lie though. Like I'm ecstatic to play Diablo 2. The problem yes. is, is I played like, like old PC. I oh never like I, I was playing PC um before mouse and key, like before mouse and keyboard combination was big too. You know what I mean? So I, I was turned to Zork. Yeah, exactly. That load runner, those kind of things on the old load Zool, runner. man. It's about Zool. Oh my god. There the is no Dana. mascot. Now there the only no other Dana, one, only Zool. The only other nice. one I have here, and I I forgot I, since we brought up GTA, why can't we bring up the fun one of all of them? Since it's hit and run. Come on, it was fun. Yeah. I was gonna put that on my list, but I didn't play it on PlayStation 2. That's why I didn't do it. Yeah, I, I have the, I have PS2. the greatest hits PS2 one. And I also have the greatest, the Platinum Edition uh, Xbox. And Xbox. So, but that's all. Yeah, right. that was what, was the, what was the other one? There was Hit and Run. There were two. There was Hit and Run. And um, which one was the Crazy Taxi one? Oh, um, um, I know which one you're talking about. Hit and uh, Run was better, though. Yes, yeah, of course. But still, that was still enjoyable. That was the only thing you could play. That's the only way you could play Crazy Taxi on yeah. PlayStation Two. I mean, no, but there was yeah, Hit and Run was like the GTA clone. But there was one I forgot that I can't think of the title. I don't for, remember it either. For the life of me now, but it was like a Crazy Taxi clone. Road Rage. Road, yeah, Road, 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 Road Rage. That's it. Simpsons Road Rage. Yeah. I have that as well. Yes, nice. I have that as the pla- uh, the Xbox Platinum Xbox edition. Platinum. Yeah, yeah. Um, we mentioned on the Xbox video, but I played most of it on the PS2 was SSX Tricky. 
good game. I mean, I think three is better, but I mean that was like that was the era when like the extreme sports were like big. Everybody was like, like they turned out those extreme like to, when Tony Hawk hit big. Then you had they had Dave Matt, Mira's yeah. BMX. Well, the Matt Hoffman, yeah. the the second Matt Hoffman mm-hmm. game on PlayStation Two was very good actually. Yeah, but then there was um, Dave Mira. It was like too. the end of the PS One life cycle. We got we got uh the scooter extreme scooter game or whatever. Yeah, that, was that was on PS One. That was on. Yeah, PS1. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was the end of that life cycle of the PS One. Yeah, I, I, where I mean, all those games started. Dave to pop Mira up. and Matt Hoffman on PS One were both good. I think yeah, I might have had both games. of them on my list. I don't remember. Well, but, see, I know I know Matt Hoffman was made by the same people that made Tony Hawk, but as far as the Dave Mira, that was actually a different company that made the. But Dave the Mira Dave one. Mira yeah. games, the follow ups to it weren't as good. No, yeah, and the Matt Hoffman were pretty good for a while. And then there's the Kelly Slater Pro Surfer too. Yep. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. that was actually and a pretty good game. It was high rated. Did, there was well, there was the surfboard. Wasn't there the one, um, uh, the snowboard one with? Um, yeah, what, Sean White, but that's Sean PS3. White. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. That's way after. That's actually a good game. Yeah, Sean, Sean White, White game was amazing. Yeah. That was a really good game. Yeah, uh, that yeah. might be one of my favorite snowboarding games of all time. I don't know. I don't SSX. know. Anybody I like remember BMX Triple X? <laughs> I, I do actually, and I definitely yes. also remember Dead or Alive uh, Beach Volleyball. volleyball beach yeah. Volleyball. Oh, uh, how about Jet Set Radio? Cool. We putting that on this list? That's not on the console. Yeah. yeah, it was Dreamcast. Are you kidding me? It's the same thing, dude. Dreamcast too. <laughs> You're a special guy. Yeah, yeah right. Dreamcast too. Uh, the Dreamcast so, too. But any anybody else got any more? No, that was I'm all. Out. I got mine. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. Yep. All right, and then on that note, then guys, thanks again for joining us. You'll find all their links down in the description below. Go on, check them out. This guy right below me, I owe him a special thanks. I wouldn't have been able to get my channel off the ground if it wasn't for this guy. So I just want to give a special thank out to you, Nikki. Go no follow problem. him, Roblox Games, Catch Campo on RLG Cast, and Gamer Pawheads right beside me. Once again, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Peace.